The struggle for balance and equitable resources, coupled with the sustainable management of natural resources, has always been a challenge for Africa. I traveled to a place called Malipati in southeastern part of Zimbabwe, where communities, together with supporting organizations, are developing ways to curb the conflict between men and wildlife. Workshops were organized with local communities and conservation stakeholders to work together to define possible futures through forward looking approaches. Here we met a woman named Priscilla Moyo, whom, despite the challenges of cultural norms where women do not have leadership roles, the program has empowered her to be part of a group of women and men who have started community gardens with solar powered balls, educate women in less fortunate environments on the possible roles of women in society. My experience here struck me that we live in a world that abounds with natural resources and that the ever-growing human population continues to push wildlife to extreme boundaries. Nature will fight back. And with the help of organizations like CIRAD, the European Union and the University of Zimbabwe in areas like Malipati, and not forgetting the small everyday kindnesses human beings and wildlife can exist profitably together.